with Bryce Harper having an off start. And one of those, you know, he's been a streaky guy, kind of a, a slump, and then he'll snap out of it. Uh, when you look at strikeout ratio, contact, it, it doesn't look good. It gets early in 2019. So, Eric, uh, What's the big difference for Harper this time around? Well, I, I mean, look, if we go outside the numbers, for me, the, the, the thing is he's always been a streaky guy, right? right? The difference, though, is this year he's playing after he just signed a $300 million deal. He's in a new venue. He wants to do well. So I think there is that outside pressure that he's probably putting on himself. He's a human being first, no matter how much he's getting paid, no matter how talented he is. If you want to go into the numbers, Pitchers are throwing him a lot more sliders this year and having trouble with that. You also look at his contact outside of the zone. I mean, he's still swinging. He's still got the play discipline, but compared to last year, he's he's missing 7 8% more pitches outside of the zone that he's going after. So, you know, you couple all those sorts of things and you, you got a bad start, but he is streaky. But remember, Stanton, a few years ago, after he'd signed that big deal yep. with the Marlins and he goes over to the Yankees, after his first 41 games, nobody in baseball had more strikeouts. Same thing happening right here with Harper. He's going to be fine. I'm a little concerned. 20 multi-strikeout games. That leads all of baseball. You can tell that he's a little concerned. He feels in between in his swings. He can't catch up to the fastball. He's swinging through the slider. They're going up and down, so there's not a zone that he can attack. And I tell you what, he just doesn't look comfortable. And I agree with you, EK. I think this is a new type of pressure. He's not in D.C. where they're not going to yeah. boo him. This is a new ball club, a large contract. He's playing his heart out, but it's, it's a tough situation right now because you're telling you, you have Reese Hoskins behind you carrying a team, so it can be done. But when you come and you sign that contract and you talk about hoisting a championship and going down South Street and Broad Street and all yeah. that, it, it's a lot of uh, pressure you put on yourself, and I think he's feeling it right now. You, you know, too, though, he's still leading baseball <coughs> talks. You going to be okay? Yeah, I'll be all right. Okay. I, get, I get choked but up when, when a guy making that much money <laughs> is getting picked on. I feel so terrible. <clears throat> it just kind of grabs but me he, right he here. Is, but he's the, still leading all of baseball yes, and watch. He made and, terrific catches the other night, right. so I'm going to the wall. He's, he's trying. It, well, well, no, no you doubt. Get, you get anybody to try. I don't want tryers. I want doers, yeah, but no, right? You're no doubt that he'll snap out of it. I right? don't know. You really, you're, you're not so, so sure. I'm saying he will. Oh, okay. like, he's you're not so sure. streaky. Wow. He's been okay. streaky. You know, there's little things I see. He's going up there with batting gloves, no batting gloves. As a pitcher, you could tell he doesn't have a good feel, feel of the barrel in the zone. Guys are slowing him down. They're speeding him up. You've been there, EK. When you see somebody... But that's mental. Yeah, like, exactly. That's mental. So he's not right upstairs. So that's when I'm, I'm a little concerned. I think he's going to continue to dig One thing. Hole. Only one thing solves it, and that's hits. You can get all the, boy, you're going to be okay, and you can hit all you want. The only thing that matters is if I get a base hit in the game. Otherwise, you're looking at your ceiling every night going, man, I can't believe I More pressure right. when everybody right? else is hitting around well, him, too. I mean, they're still in first place, which, which is amazing, even though we're a quarter of the way through the season. Um, let's go back to his. We mentioned the line. The numbers, you saw something beneath that not as impressive. Just anytime he gets into the six and you're, you're doing okay, if you're a Cub fan, you're grateful. Uh, you can't beat a guy down for striking 10 people out. But there's a situation that I see. <laughs> yeah, and it's my job to critique. So, <laughs> you know, but I, I saw something today. He threw a ton of sliders, and it looks like to me he's afraid that throw his fastball in the strike zone for contact. He nibbles a lot, so you see a lot of 2-2, two, 3-2 two, two counts without a lot of batters, so it's tough for him to get through the lineup twice without throwing 100-plus pitches. So even though he struck out a lot of people against the better offenses in the National League, I think they're going to make him pay for going deep in the, in, in the counts. He's got to trust his fastball. I mean, my God, he throws anywhere from 94 to 97 right, miles right? an hour. You <laughs> have to honor the contact and get some early contact. You have a talented defense, have athletic defense behind you. Trust your mm -hmm. defense and put the ball in play. But I'm still concerned about him, man. I still think he's the yeah. fifth starter in that rotation. Yeah, you can't, something you can't count on. And the bullpen either, apparently, and this is another example of, of uh, what you can and can't count on down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, you got Pedro Stroh out right now and, and he was eh so so I mean Kinsler's been their best guy right um you know again you watch tonight and, and Carl Edwards Jr. I mean oh, he man. uh he's been really the enigma for that bullpen last year he had an ERA of about a little over two and a half only gave up two home runs was in 58 some odd games and and Joe Madden would use him in late inning situations this year 
he hasn't he hasn't been able to locate at all. So he's walking guys. I think today with the third home run he's given up in, in just over you know four or five innings. And that's a real hole. And then, and then, of course, you know, we're not even talking about Brandon Morrow. Right. Right. I mean, he was signed last year to be the closer. He's not and even he at the just field. Is, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, there's nowhere to be found. And he just, in fact, Theo just told, uh, said the other day, he's resuming a throwing program. Hopefully. Next week. So that's flat ground in Mesa. That's like, yeah, yeah like, I mean, it was a win. <laughs> yeah, so that's and, not a lot of problems there. And right. it was Brad Brock you know, who, who, who gave up uh, this one.